Hey Masters, welcome back to Join Media. Today I wanted to talk about the Cypress AGV Schema Validator plugin. This is an awesome plugin that Sebastian Clavijo has created for the community. It has a GitHub repository, so you can go ahead here and click the start to support his work because I think it's awesome. It is going to help us to validate the API response against JSON schemas, Swagger documents, or open API documents using, well, the baseline is AGV JSON schema validator. I want to try to create a POC for you guys. I want to explain to you how it works. And let's see if you like it or not. Uh, personally, I probably I will use it in future projects for sure because I think it's awesome. Let's go ahead and take a look of how it works. All right, masters. I just wanted to say that if you want to know more about this awesome plugin, I would recommend you to come here to this uh, post in Dev2 Cypress AGV Schema Validator plugin, the Brave Villagianti for your API contracts. Here he, ha he has explained a lot of his point of view. Um, about why this is an awesome integration, an awesome um, plugin, and what you are going to see more documentation, how to use it in different ways and examples. So I would say, and I would recommend you to, that you can come here and check it out. It is going to be worth the time. Also, I wanted to share his profile in Dev2, okay? And also LinkedIn. Maybe you can connect and, well, maybe make a new friend and, and an awesome friend, <laughs> right? So let's continue with the video. Let's see how it works with Cypress and let's integrate it. Uh, as I always say, please come here to the GitHub repository, read everything in the readme because it's important, okay? But I wanna show you pretty quickly how you can use it with a simple example. So I'm gonna use the npm install Cypress AGV schema validator command because I'm using Node Package Manager in my case. At the end, I use the save dev flag just to save this dependency as a dev dependency. And now it is allocated in our package to the JSON as expected. Awesome, right? I'm gonna click on the X here and the next step for the configuration, as you can see in the documentation, is at um, a line in your commands.js folder. It is under Cypress, um, support and commands.js. And, and as you can see in line 27, I just imported that particular line of code that is, is, is uh, telling us the documentation. Um, this is basically importing the custom command from the plugin to our framework. Okay, awesome. And then I would say that it's important that you can come here to the API reference and see what is expected in the custom command. It is expected an schema and a path. So this is the, the thing that we're gonna send in our POC. What it should return, it is a Cypress chainable, the response object wrapped in a Cypress that chainable, and it is gonna throw an error uh, if there are required parameters or missing, right? Um, if the schema or schema definition is not found. Um, and that's it. You can see some examples here, but I'll I'll give you a current one and, and you're gonna see how it works. Also, here we have the, the information for functions. And well, if you wanna try it out, here is the documentation. Masters, I wanted to let you know that I'll be using the Swagger Pet Store, okay? This is an API that you can use for free. It is using API uh, version 3.0, that's awesome. And if you wanna take a look of where you can find uh, the specifications, uh, in this case it's under source, main, resources, and here is the open API, the Jamil. You can extract the information that you require for the for the POC open in, in this file. You can see the open API version here. You can see the paths and you can look for the components as well. So I just wanted to let you know guys, that guys, because here is the, this is the file that you're gonna use to make sure that the API response is expected or not. Okay, so this is essential for this POC. Also guys, I wanted to let you know that I'll be using this get endpoint. It is gonna return a single pet by its ID. Okay, that's basically what I'm gonna do it. If I inspect this uh, and I look for the network and I'm gonna try it out, I'm gonna return the pet with the ID number one. And this is the information. It is gonna return a pet, okay? And the ID, category, name, photo, URLs, uh, the, the status, and that's it. Also, you can see in the network part here, uh, this is the endpoint that I'll be consulting. It is a get request and this is the response. Okay, awesome. Um, let's let's see how to create the um, well the schema 
in your Cypress project, okay, using this example that, I, that I'm providing to you. Let's go ahead and take a look of how it works. All right, masters, I'll be using, as I was telling you, this endpoint, okay? Uh, what I want to do is find a pet by its ID. The response should look pretty similar to this response body when I make a response, I'm sorry, when I make a request and, it, and its response is 200, okay? Okay, um, this is important and I wanna make sure that the schema is the expected one or not. Where I am going to get the schema it is gonna be extracted from the OpenAPI YAML file in this particular case. And I need three different parameters from this YAML file. I'll need the OpenAPI version, I'll be needing the paths, and I'll be needing the components that is under uh, the file. You have to scroll it and look for it, but it's over there, <laughs> I promise that, okay? Um, okay, so as I'm telling you, I need to specify that in our framework. I just have a simple schema v3 constant here, okay? And it is an object. This object has three different attributes. It has the open API version 3.0.2. It had the paths, okay? And under the paths, you can see the endpoint that I was telling you is a pet slash pet ID. And inside of this, you can see the, the schema definition. It is gonna be a get. It has the tax uh, that well a tax property. You can see a summary, description, operation ID, and all the stuff that and all the responses as well that should be or maybe return when you make a request. Okay, the security and so on. Also, you're gonna need to define the components. You can see under the schemas the pet component and what is required or not. Uh, for instance, if the ID has a type string is gonna fail because the type is integer, the format, the example, and all the schema of a format and expected um, format actually <laughs> to, to make sure that everything is looking fine. This is important and you need to make sure that this object has everything inside. Uh, you can extract all the schema information as I was telling you from this YAML file. I would recommend you that you come here and check it out, okay? Now that you have this schema v3, you're gonna need also to create a constant if you want to. You also can get the schema v3 constant in a fixture, so you can just import it uh, using the Cypress standards, but I'm just giving you a simple example, right? Then you have this constant, path path. It is gonna be a simple object with three different, uh, well, kind of properties. The first one is gonna be the endpoint, okay? This is the endpoint pet slash pet ID. The method that we're gonna be testing is get, and the status that we're gonna be testing is 200, okay? That's awesome. Then I have a simple describe here, guys, and it is this describe is basically telling us that it is gonna be a test suite to API schema validation with OpenAPI. And the first test is gonna be should validate the pet data using API 3.0.2 schema. And the function is pretty simple. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, there it is. It is a simple side request, okay? It is gonna be a get request to this particular endpoint. So it is gonna return the pet information for the ID number one. Awesome, right? And then we have the function validate schema, which is the one that we imported in our commands.js file. This one over here. This is the custom command that I was importing. And it is expecting a couple of parameters, okay? It is expecting the schema and it is expecting the path. And well, the response is gonna be evaluated against the schema and the path path. And that's basically what is going on here. It is gonna check that every single property that we have in the response, it's matching the open API spec definition. Awesome, right? So I'll be running here in Cypress. So npm npx cypress open it should open the test runner there is mm -hmm. i'll be open the nt on testing and i'll be using chrome just for the poc i'm gonna open this and you're gonna see that the request was done successfully and here it is everything looks fine the response body is valid against the schema but as always we need to make sure that this is working fine and the way of why or of how we're gonna test this is making some changes to the schema to make sure that everything looks okay, all right? So uh, let me see, I'm gonna go to components, I'm gonna go to schemas, I'm gonna go to the pet one, okay? And I'll be changing some stuff, okay? Let me see, let me go to the 
inspect to the Chrome DevTools here and I'll be checking the response from this pet. Okay, so you can see that the ID, it's an integer, right? And of course, the ID in the schema, it's expecting an integer. So I'm gonna change this to a string just for testing, okay? Also, we're gonna change the photos URLs to from, from an array to a string as well. And at the end, the items, let me see what else we can change here. Um, maybe the status, let me look for the status. Do, 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 do. Where is the status? Here it is. Instead of a string, I'll be sh I should be expecting a number just for the testing. I'm gonna save this file and now I have a issue. <laughs> okay, that's awesome because it is making sure that the well, the components have the proper schema. And as you can see, we here we have three different errors. Okay, so I'm gonna show you this. This is the failed, um, well, the failed message. And here you can see what is going on. This is awesome. This is why this plugin is awesome. Because the ID, it is telling us that it must be a string, <laughs> right? Uh, also, it is telling us that the photo URL should be a string as well. And the status, which is a string right now, should be a number. And this is why this uh, plugin should be awesome because, or it's awesome because we're getting like a live response of what is wrong and what, and what should be improved. And well, that's the magic of this plugin, guys. What do you think about it? I think it's awesome. Um, as I was telling you at the beginning, please go ahead and check the documentation. Um, let me show you this as well. Um, in the article, we have some examples. Here it is, usage examples. And we have ex an example using a JSON schema, using OpenAPI 3.0.1, which is the one that I use for this demo, Swagger 2.0, and, and now using function, if you wanna try it out. So masters, I also wanted to let you know that it should work fine if you're using the Sci API plugin from a from this plugin, Cypress plugin API, or if you're using the one that Philip has created as well. So it is working fine with the available plugins um, that we have in the market. So masters, let me know what do you think about this. I think it's awesome. And it is an, a pretty simple way to implement a validator schema in your framework using Cypress. So masters, let me know your feedback. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about it? and I hope to see you in the next video. I'll be out for a couple of weeks, to be honest. I'll be traveling to Spain for one week, and yeah, I'll be out for two weeks, but I'll be back pretty soon, and I hope to see you in this my social uh, network accounts. See you soon. Thank you very, thank you very much, Masters. Bye-bye.